Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 26 of Book 7. Now, in this proposition, we have four numbers, and we have that A is relatively prime to C, and A is also relatively prime to D. Likewise, we have that B is relatively prime to C, and B is relatively prime to D. And this proposition states if those four conditions hold true, then the result of multiplying A and B together will be relatively prime to C and D multiplied together. So to prove this, let's start with a number E, which is equal to A times B, and another number F, which is equal to C times D. Now, since A is relatively prime to C, and B is also relatively prime to C, then according to Proposition 24, A times B will be relatively prime to C. So A times B is relatively prime to C. But A times B is equal to E, therefore E is relatively prime to C. Using the same arguments, we have that A is relatively prime to D, and B is relatively prime to D so that we get that E is relatively prime to D. Same arguments. So we have that E is relatively prime to C, and E is also relatively prime to D. So therefore, E is relatively prime to C multiplied by D. Now C multiplied by D is equal to F, so we have that E and F are relatively prime. So thus we have shown if we have these four conditions to be true, I don't feel like repeating them, and E is equal to A times B, and F is equal to C times D, E and F are relatively prime. 